Hey, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video and we are going to be doing round four of our AFL Evolution 2 career mode. Yeah, last time we beat the Tigers, so we are sitting third on the ladder. We're looking pretty well. We're playing Melbourne, but this is going to be a little bit tougher. You know, change the settings and make it a little bit harder because um, against Richmond, I think that kind of told us that... Um, yeah, it was time for a bit of a change. So, we're going to get a veteran. I know in my previous episode I changed to all Australian, but um, that might have been a fluke. I, I don't know. The accuracy of their goal kicking will be um, a little bit higher as well. So, um, yeah, just going to make it like, you know, closer, more real. Might as well go and look at the team. I haven't actually tr checked any of this. Do we have any injuries? Oh, what? All right. Well, I had no idea that Seb Ross was out for 16 weeks. Paddy Ryder out for eight and Hanabry out for two. So, I mean, only three injuries, so it's not that bad, but pretty good plays. I've done a bit of changing up with the teams, which um, hopefully will work out in my favor. Um, and we might as well just play the game because we don't want to just waste time and, you know, play around with all this stuff where we could just get straight on with the game. Um, they certainly should be better than Richmond because I've made it a little bit harder. So Melbourne running out, all that good stuff. They're wearing their away jumper, which I quite like, actually. The uh, I like the colour of the royal blue. And then St Kilda, obviously, coming out. Kind of a... Ch well, not really. I didn't change anyone on the side. I just changed positions because... Robertson was in the full, was in the forward line. Don't know why. Uh, Butler was in the back line. So, yeah, I had to change it really. And he can run. And Brown will mark it. So yet again, first few inside fifties of the game, and we didn't really make it count. It's a bit like every other game, really. And Brown misses, which is strange because I bumped up the, the um, accuracy for the goal kicking. Well, let's face it. I probably knew it was going to happen. It's happened before and it, it happened again. And another point. Yeah, a bit weird. I did I did make it harder, 100, because this is kind of getting out of pan. And, yep. All right. Hannon gets the goal. Melbourne start well. we got to get back in this one because now first three shots on goal. They've got the confidence. Um, and we kind of on the back foot. And they're going to get another one. Or they're not lucky. Tom McDonald misses That's against the team who finished 17th last year. And they're going to get another one. So Melksham gets it. And this is reminiscent to North Melbourne game. when We just could not find a goal. Actually, we got one more chance to get a goal here. Loney. We might just torp it just so he can have a chance at it. Could we get the goal on the bell? Oh, one more chance to get a goal. And... We you can see that happening. get a right point. Quite yeah, Melbourne. yeah, Melbourne was a dominant team, that's for sure. In this game, Hannon was very dangerous with the goal. Could have easily kicked two or three. Tackling the man of the moment was Mitch Hannon. Marshall. Oh, don't tell me Jack Finey kicks it. What a goal. One of those goals, you just wouldn't expect him to kick out of nowhere. And now, all of a sudden, the Demons are up by three goals. Oh, I could have marked that, actually. There we go. Hill. And King, finally. So, at the fourth minute of the, of the um, yeah, second quarter, we finally get a chance to kick our first. And surely doesn't miss that. He can't miss it from 10 metres out. And he doesn't. So, Max King gets our first. And a desperately needed goal. Um, we did have time, but we'd just like to get the first on the board as early as possible. And in the second quarter, that's just not good enough. Oh, gets a high tackle, so we'll take that. So we could get two in a very quick period of time. That looks good. And we do. So that's all right. Confidence building. Team lifting stuff. And the momentum now in our favor. We've kicked two goals in two minutes of play. So, going to play on here. Yep, that wasn't a very good kick. Straight to a, like a Demons 3-on-1. Luckily, Brayshaw misses. Last chance at a goal. And Memory could get that happening. Surely that bounces through and it does. So, that is a goal we needed on the brinks of half-time. Memory just, you know, out of nothing really. We could maybe get another one. Wasn't expecting a goal. Yeah, I wasn't actually expecting a goal. 
in the final minute of the quarter. A good quarter. It turned out all right. Um, for most of it, though, it was a bit just kicking back, kicking up and back. Nothing to see. But as you can see, three goals to one in that quarter. But I'm experienced with the um, close games. I've got on top of all of them. And another behind. So the Ds, yeah, maybe it's just luck how they're not really kicking well. And far out. Da Dougal Howard has just kicked it straight out of bounds in the full. It's like we want him to get a goal. Long. Got to give it over the top and he does. Boy, King never actually got a hold onto that one. He has a shot now and he gets it. Alrighty. We get a good good goal that we needed against the flow really. Haven't Has not been a good quarter at all. No goals. King kicks it from the pocket and he kicks a great goal. So we're in front. Four in a row. Toloni. See someone in the square and that is smart. So King has kicked I think he's kicked two already. He could kick his third. Five in a row. And suddenly, it's back out to an eight-point lead. So we have kicked the last five goals of the match. And um, King's kicked three. D's are still coming. It's only eight points. And McDonald's going to have a shot at it. So a bit of a lapse of concentration. I always do that. When I get a bit of an edge over the opposition, opposition... The D's just come back, or the other team comes back and kicks the goal straight away. It's kind of like I want that to happen. It's happened all the time. D's are going to have another shot at it. And he... Oh, my God. So we're going to give up an eight-point lead late in the last term... Late in the third term. Luckily not. Luckily, McDonald misses to the right. So scores are level at three-quarter time. And it looks to be one of those games that it's going to go down to the wire. We did have the momentum. We kicked the first two goals of the quarter. We were, had the last five goals of the match. But the Ds, since then, have kicked back. And the scores are level. Probably, I don't have no idea what that was. He kicks it backwards to our player. So can we get a goal out of that? Or we might. We might. Had no idea King stole it out of that. And he gets the goal. So now... He's kicked his fourth and we're in front. What a game Max King's playing. And now the Ds are away. Oliver. Two on one, surely not. Savage. Good fist into the path of Petrarca though. Which is a bit unlucky. The Ds get the first... Well, they get their first goal of the quarter. And they... Yeah, they've gotten a lot of shots. They've gotten four of the last five shots on goal. Do not break it out just yet. Still got time. Probably around five minutes of game time remaining. Melbourne get this. And Hannon's going to run onto it, actually. This is not good. Melbourne, could they steal the lead? And they do. And alarm bells are ringing for the Saints because we, we are on the brinks of our first loss of the season here. We just got to get the first. We, well, obviously, we've got to get a goal straight away. There we go. Hill. So, Brad Hill... Straight away, can get the goal. Reduce the margin to four. Reducing the margin, no. Oh, wasted chance. That could be the game. Yep, that's the game. Has to be the game. We got one last chance. We got one last chance. Gresham has to kick this and nothing stupid. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be it. Okay, it is. Okie doke, it is. Why'd I say that? Anyways, it's a goal. We have no idea how long there is left, but we could still win this game. Webster kicks it out of there. We've got two on one. We should mark this. Oh, I had no idea that Neville Jetta had the ball. Kicks inside forward 50. Howard's there. He's going to get... Oh, he might as just have a shot. He gets the goal! How have we managed that? We have managed to get the lead. Might as well go for it myself. So Howard, the defender, the D's, get a shot. Gets the goal. Fritch. Oh, when we thought the lead was ours. Can't be long to go. 
gets the shot. Howard, who thought he was had the match winner. Oh, no. Melbourne win. Oh, my God. Oh. What a game, though. But, no, that's not great. So, we lose our first round four. Um, but I guess it's all right. We're not, I don't want to, like, win 21 games of the season. I want to make it realistic to how a normal season is going to go. We're not going to win every game, and we should know that. But, uh, yeah, chance gone begging. But when you look at it that way, the Ds probably deserve the win. But 51-53, so we lose a nail biter. Uh, the uh, disposals, stock standard. We can see Max Kings should be the man of the match, really. Four goals. Um, don't see why he shouldn't be the man of the match. And he's second. Fair enough. Don't know why McDonald's number one. But fair enough, the D's won the game, so they probably should get the man of the match. So the ladder, and we're th fourth on the ladder. So the D's are third, so they're actually not that bad of a team. Collingwood and Essendon are top two. Collingwood's first, actually, hasn't lost a game yet. But our next match is against the Cats, and I think that's away at GMHBA. Mistake me if I'm wrong. They're 10th on the ladder with a healthy percentage, so that's going to be a, a tough game as well. Our first real road trip. And the three games we played before that, that all of them are not doing well on the ladder. Tigers, North, and the Eagles. So <clears throat> that is going to be it for the episode. A very, very good game. Not going to lie. We didn't get the win, unfortunately. But it was entertaining, to say the least. And next week, we're going to be playing the Cats. So stay tuned for that one. They placed 10th on the ladder. Two wins, two losses. Um, it's going to be tough always to play in Geelong. But if you enjoyed this video, let me know. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new for more AFL Evolution 2 content and AFL content in general. And I'll see you soon in my next video.